Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to go over side chain compression and maybe a few extra features you didn't know about. Recently, somebody asked me if I use M Drummer and do I only use it in one track and mix everything internally, or do I split split it out into lots of different tracks, like for kick drums, snare, etc. Recently, I've been using it all together like this instead of splitting it out into separate drums and. For me, it works fine because I use all Melder production plugins anyways, and they're all the ones I need are all included in M Drummer, so I really don't need to split them out. I found that like actually I don't need to do that. It's much easier for me if I just leave them all in one track. It saves more space. But the person asked me, hey, how do you like do ducking? So if I want my bass ducked by my kick drum, how do I do it? And I'll show you today. There are a few different ways you can do it. I'll show you how to do it in M Turbo Compressor, M Compressor, and M Dynamics. You can do them all in very similar ways. Since I already have M Turbo Compressor on, I'll do that. So let me get in here and I'll start playing it and let's solo the bass and the drums. Okay, so we already have M Turbo Compressor on our bass. We're going to pull that out. All we need to do is just have a side chain go in here. Make sure, like me, you don't put this MIDI in here. I just want the audio to come in. When we do this at first, you're not going to hear any difference. But you can see the side chain signal here. And that's because nothing is happening here. To do that with, to do this with M Turbo Comp, we're going to use the edit screen here. So we could just go in here and then we're going to uh, enable the side chain like this. You can see now our gain reduction is being controlled by the side chain. But let's kind of exaggerate this because I want you to really hear that. I'm going to turn the compression up. So hopefully you can hear that. That's really pumping now. I'm just doing that just so you can hear it. You actually probably wouldn't want to do that for an actual song. However, your hearing's like, it's really reacting to the snare drum, which is what we don't want. We just want it to react to that kick drum. Now, how do we do that? The way we do it is we EQ the side chain. So we have this here and we click settings. Now we see the side chain equalizer. We can just turn that off if we want, but in fact, here we want it. I'm gonna turn off one and turn off five and we're just gonna go to the highest one. And this is already at a low pass filter. If it wasn't, just right click on it move it up and find our low pass filter. It's 12 decibels per octave. We can do 24 if we want. You could do anything really. But we're gonna listen to it. And while we're listening to it, what we're gonna, actually, let me turn off the drums. And then we're gonna move this down and watch the gain reduction as it's happening. And first you'll see it reacting to the uh, snare drum, but then as I move it down, you'll see it's only reacting to the kick drum like this. So now you can hear it's only reacting to the kick drum. So this is only reacting to the kick. There you go. That's how you do it. Now you could do the opposite. So if you think I don't want it to react to the kick drum at all, I want it to react to the snare. Maybe you're ducking, I don't know, maybe like background vocals or like a pad or something. We can do the opposite, like this. I'll move this up to 24 decibels per octave. You don't have to do that, but I like to. Oh, click it off. Okay. And we'll do the exact same thing, except this time I'm going to move it up until that bass isn't bass drum isn't affecting it anymore.
you can see it's barely being affected by that bass drum, which is what we want. So there's all sorts of things you can do with this, and you don't have to use the low pass or high fat pass. You can emphasize or de-emphasize any frequency you have up to, what is it, six bands here? That's kind of crazy, actually. That's a lot. So that's one way you can do it. But actually, for me, I probably wouldn't use the M Turbo Comp in the first place for this. Although, as you can see, it definitely works. I think there are better, more useful ones. So instead of something that's modeling a vintage compressor, use something a little bit more utilitarian. Let's see here. Go into the compressors. Let's use M Dynamics. And of course, the MB versions are, will be the exact same, but I'm going to use this one here, like this. And we can do the exact same thing. Let's move our ratio up at first so this works. And we can move our threshold down. Actually, let's put the side chain in first. Same thing, turn the MIDI down. And let's hear it at first. Actually, now it's not going to, you can see the side chain here, but it won't actually reduce it because it's not enabled yet. Okay, so that's what we're working with. Now, what we're going to do is enable the sidechain, use sidechain input the same way. Here, we have our minimum frequency and maximum frequency. So this is if you don't want to go in and actually do the EQing yourself. So we can do it here, just like before with the six bands. But sometimes you're like, eh, I don't have time for that. I don't want to spend all that time. So you can just use quick low pass and high pass filters here. But the beauty of using M Dynamics is we have this function here. So let's just listen to the bass. You can kind of see what's happening, but you don't really know for sure. With this, we can listen to that. So now we're just going to hear the side chain. As I said before, you could do the same thing with the snare. Just listen and just get that bass drum out of the way. If you saw there, you saw I use the sidechain gain. This isn't going to actually make the sound of... Uh, our track here, the bass, any louder. What it will do is, if in the case of the snare, it's like, ah, it's too low once I cut off the bass, I can make up the gain here, like this. And so now it will react just to the snare, or mostly to the snare anyways. And of course we could move the threshold down more if we want even more compression. Okay. Now of course this isn't that musical, but I'm just giving you a demonstration, I'm exaggerating so you can hear it well. And you could do the same thing with even the free compressor, although I don't know if this one is unlocked if you haven't paid for it. Although it's free for the basic features, I'm not sure if the side chaining is a basic feature, so. There you go. But if you have unlocked it and paid for that, you have this here. We can do the exact same thing. And we have our side chain right here, just like the other ones. Oh, make sure you're putting, pushing side chain in post. Like, why is this not working? There we go.
So I showed you in three different compressors from Melda how you can do this. I think there's other ones you can do it the exact same way. So I know there's some compressors in other plugins. There's ones I didn't mention, other compressors, but there's also compressors in, for example, uh, M Turbo Reverb. So it'll work the exact same way. This is a really useful one for not only ducking like a bass drum or say a bass with a bass drum, but you can use this for other things. You can also kind of use this as a de by emphasizing uh, those S sounds uh, using the high pass filter or even using the full EQ in some of the other plugins. And it can be used for that. Uh, it's almost anything it could be used for. So it's really great for ducking if you want to, you know, get rid of some sounds that way and you can target whatever frequency you want so don't worry if you have all your drums on one track or if you have a drum loop or something you can't separate that bass sound when you have these melda compressors it's easy so hopefully this gave you some ideas of what you can do if it did give me a thumbs up leave me any questions or comments down below and uh till next time see you